I'm trying to capture what I would look like, what I would feel like if I was being dumped by a wave or caught underwater or struggling. I'm Oliver Pemberton, I'm 17, and my work's called Disoriented. So I've been like growing up around the ocean, surfing, swimming, like all my life, and I surf a lot. Um, <laughs> I was like trying to originally capture a feeling of like disorientation and distress. You don't know which way is up, like you're swimming, but you don't know how long it's gonna take to get to the surface or how long it's gonna take for you to get your head up, get a breath or something like that. And I was fascinated with like the power of waves and also like the, o the ocean's inhabitants, like the sharks. And there's like a very interesting relationship between sharks and surfers. Lots of surfers completely like just stop surfing in specific areas because they want to avoid sharks and some just accept that it's like a, just a thing you have to deal with. The piece is like a reflection of like emotion I'm trying to capture, like a, a moment in time or a feeling um, that I experience and hopefully maybe other people who, who see the work could relate to it or people who have never experienced something like that, they can just reflect on, wow, the ocean is really amazing, it's really powerful. So my medium of choice was um, print on acrylic and epoxy resin. So once I established what I really wanted to do, which took quite a long time, I was entering a medium that I'd never experienced or experimented with before. Originally I started off with just messing around with some epoxy, trying to make some surfboard fins that I could use maybe for myself. But then as I made more and more, I realised that I could manipulate the medium and sort of like replicate the ocean's colours. As that sort of evolved, I was trying to include a photography element as well. When you're looking at it, depending on which angle you are, you see just like the blue um, photos. It's like a mashup that I did in Photoshop, a combination of four or five different images that were taken on a GoPro, and they were taken while I was diving under waves or while I was jumping in the water. I found that I made lots of mistakes along the way. I probably made like 50 of those little fins. I probably broke like 20 of them. I guess that's sort of like surfing, because when you surf, you like, you experience this massive like flow and just like pure joyful adrenaline. But then there's those, those times where you're just like, oh, this sucks, like, oh, maybe I should go in or something like that. It was really just trial and error. And I believe like if I didn't, experiment for so long with the new medium and learn all the tips and tricks that my work wouldn't have come out how it is. So I've chosen to study science at uni, but I think art is always going to be not in the background, but sort of like a creative expression on the side. Um, I find art really, really calming. So I think it's going to be really important for me to continue my art and explore many different um, manners of art production in the future. Art is like the expression of ideas and hopefully along the way you can create something beautiful as well. Yeah, I'm extremely grateful to be chosen for the exhibition. I think it's really awesome that um, people can come and see all the art that the youth are producing these days. Some really, really amazing pieces in the exhibition. 